Hi guys, it's Rosanna from All Gifts Matter. Welcome back to our channel. So what I've got today is these two pieces of wood. I thrifted them sometime this year. I don't remember where. Anyway, it was a child. I think it was a child shop or maybe marketplace. Anyway, it doesn't matter. So I think they were from an either old fireplace or a um, an old table. However, I did like the shape of them and I thought they would make a nice bookend. So this is what I'm going to do with them. Now, I actually had started the project and I thought I was recording, but I wasn't. So anyway, what I did first was I drilled a pilot hole on both places and I put these uh, little bracket, one of these on each side. So that would be basically when the book goes on here, this one fall, you know, just like bookends. Anyway, so I've already attached those two. Now, what I'm going to do on top of this, I'm going to get, this is a um, unbranded trim uh, mold. So I'm going to use this one here and I'm going to use air dry clay and then I'm going to stick the mold on top of the bracket. So the bracket is going to be also held by the clay once it dries. So I'm going to glue straight on here and I'm going to try to cover the whole surface on this side. So that's one thing. And then I also have a Prima um, hardware uh, mold and I'm going to use two different uh, molds and cast with air dry clay to apply on the side because I think they look really pretty with different designs on, you know. And then after these, I'm just gonna do a little bit of painting, a little bit of distressing and whatnot. So first thing first was the brackets, which I already don't off camera, I'm afraid. And now I'm just going to do the trim. So I've got some air dry clay. I'm using DAS, D-A-S. So the first thing I'm going to do is apply some cornstarch in this one so that it won't stick. I'm going to put some glue on here at the back of this and try to get that where it was. I am using Evo Stick Wood Glue Fast Setting Formula for exterior, so it's quite strong. Oh, I don't know why I'm putting it back because I need it. And I am going to apply it with a little brush because it's very thick and to squeeze it, out of the bottle you need a lot of energies which i don't really have this morning so and i'm going to put plenty of glue well make sure the bit where the bracket goes is nice and covered so that it will be nice and stuck and it, it won't allow the bracket to twist side to side once this is hardened. That's the plan. So try and put it where it was. You can see from the bottom. Try not to distort the pattern. Although you do want to squash a little. Just a little bit of pressure at the time and center it. 
as best as you can. And then, grab a knife and cut that bit off. And now we'll wait for it to dry. And repeat on the other end. And this stage is complete. So this is just going to dry. Now, depending on how you, obviously you put your bracket, I have put them this way. So I'm going to put the hardware cast on this side. So for now, I'm just going to leave it like this for a little while while I do the cast and then we'll go from there. So again, this is a Prima mold and I'm going to use the lion and this keyhole over here. So again, cornstarch. We put one on one side, one on the other. So put that one here. And I'm going to leave it to its side because this is kind of a bit shiny. And if I tilt it, I am worried that it's going to slide out of place so i'm just going to leave it well leave both of these side on the on their side like that i'm just going to have a look and there we go And now we wait for all this to be nice and dry and then we can get on with some uh, painting and waxing and whatnot. Okay, so we're back. This is uh, pretty much dry. Probably could do with drying a little bit more, but I mean, it's not too bad. I can still paint over it. Should be good enough. So now I have a bunch of these paint sample. It's just a normal Dulux matte paint. And I have a lot of these because they were on sale at 10p each. So I thought, yeah, it's matte paint and it's a, a nice pale gray, which I really like. So I just took them all. So I'm using one of these and I am mixing it and I'm mixing a little bit of rustoleum graphite chalk paint with it just to darken it a little bit so that's what I'm going to use I have it already mixed here so I'm just going to give both of these pieces a couple of coats of paint and after that we'll uh, wait for it to dry and then we'll do some uh, white waxing so let's do that.
Here we are, we're back. This is all dry. Is that two coat of paint? It all seems to be fine. Turned out really cute. That's all nice and solid. Same for this one. And now we are going to white wax. I'm just using finishing wax from our local DIY store, Good Home. And then wipe it off with a little rag and see how that works. And here we have them, all waxed now. Looks adorable. I'm really happy with it. In retrospect, I might have, have put more texture onto the bits where there was uh, no cast. But other than that, I'm very, very happy how they both turned out. So yeah, so that's that. It's only a little project today, only a simple yet cute project. So I'm going to love you and leave you with a photo of it and how I uh, arrange it and stuff. Um, that's it really guys. Thank you very much for watching once again. Um, it would appear that the uh, page is uh, picking up a little bit. Um, I'm getting, a, 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 you know, a few more subscribers every day. Things are speeding up a little, which I'm really, really happy about. So I really, really do appreciate all the support. So thank you so much. And I shall see you in the next video. Bye for now.